Hi, Trisha here. I uh, hope you can see me okay. I'm in the studio um, and I am going to show you how to do um, an abstract piece on a quite large piece of paper and then we are going to fold it down into a little concertina sketchbook. So the piece we're going to make is this piece. You see? Um, so we've got lots of collage elements in uh, and lots of lines and shapes worked over the top. So we're working on quite a big piece of paper. This is an A2 piece of paper. Um, you can work on whatever size you want to. Uh, we're going to use some uh, felted pens. We're going to use, uh, I've got some gold and silver pens use those as well. Uh, we're going to use some um, acrylic paint. I've got some little tester pots from the DIY shop um, so I'm going to use those but you could use uh, regular tubes of acrylic, uh, watercolour, um, inks, anything you want really. Uh, and we're going to use some tissue paper um, but you can use anything really, any paper if you want to put that down. You don't need to use tissue paper and things. Um, you can substitute the pens for uh, coloured pencils, wax crayons, um, oil pastels, anything. So we're just uh, going to layer up some pieces and hopefully what we should get is a finished piece like this or however you want it, whatever colour way you want it. I've tried to stick to similarish colours so I've got a sort of um, like quite fun pastel colours here uh, and then I'm going to show you at the very end how we're going to cut it and fold it into a little sketchbook so uh, let's see let's see what we need to do to get ourselves started right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to rip off some pieces of um, our paper You can be more careful, you can be more dramatic, um, you can follow specific patterns if you want to cut them out with scissors, you can do. I've got a, a flat brush and I've got a binder medium. But you could use a PVA, um, whatever you want really. It's just I've got this on the table at the moment. So. So I'm just going to tear this into different shapes and sizes. Okay then. So 
let's have a go at gluing these down. Uh, the paper that I've got is um, just a, a cartridge paper, so it's not super thick, so bear that in mind if you're putting lots and lots of uh, paper down and things you're really gluing on um, what you're gluing. Uh, the same as if you're going to use lots of watercolour on, uh, then a slightly thicker paper. So don't forget round your edges, it's not just in the middle because we're going to fold this up um, and so some of these corner sections are actually going to be in the main page. Okay, so I've pretty much gone over all of it now, there, and you can see, I don't know if you can see, my paper is starting to cockle, just because it's not a very thick paper, so be very careful about that. So, let's come in with uh, paints. These are quite um, pale colours, so you could come with much darker colours if you wanted to. Just going with these sort of leafy shapes. I think I might do like leaf shapes and circles. But you can do anything. You can sort of just scribble all over, go crazy.
quite nice to have a bit of a, a, a theme, maybe. A bit of a, a motif. Again, don't forget to do these right up to the edges because once this is dry and we start folding it up, um, yeah, we don't want any pages that just look like blank pages. Got loads of these little tester pods. Um, when the DIY store is like selling them off really cheap, for, like tempia pot and things like that. Yeah. I've got lots of uh, barley whites and apple white. Now I'd have to try and only buy sort of more exciting colours. some more. Let's have some coming off here at least. Okay, so I've got some paint here. Can you see this is quite thick around the outside here? So that's just going to take a little while to dry. So I'm just going to leave that to dry for a bit now. 
and then uh, I'll tidy up and I'll come back with my Celtic pens. Uh, I've got my circles, I've got my leaf shape, so I'm going to try and stick with that a little bit. So I've got some Celtic pens here, they're just cheap ones. Uh, they've actually got two ends, fat and thin end. Uh, so I'm going to choose some colours out. Uh, orange, pink, might go for the blue, yellow, and I'll pull that red out because I've got these bright spots of red in here. I might need those ones. So uh, let's go with my orange first. Uh, and I'm just going to stick with these same shapes again uh, leaf shapes and circles.
so I've got these little um, uh, these like little dashes on here as well from the uh, from that really nice uh, gold paper. So I found out some uh, uh, marker pens. This is a Liquitex one, um, and these are Giotto. These were only cheap ones, and they're really, really nice. These are. Uh, I've got a gold and a silver. I've got these little bullet chips, uh, and then this Liquitex one has got a really, a really chunky tip on it. So I'm just gonna put some. This is acrylic painting these. Uh, so we just sort of work really nicely over the top with lots of different textures. silver ones. Oh, I'm going to lean all on this now it's all wet. So I'm going to try and just do little flicks. overlap edges no so that depending where this falls that I get a kind of little continuity of mark running through
make this round. <laughs> I'm drawing all over myself now. I'm just going to leave that because a lot of the um, that big chunky um, silver acrylic is quite wet in the all of my hands now. So I'm just going to leave this to dry and then we're going to have a look at folding it up. Okay. What I want to show you is the folding and cutting that we're going to do. So I'm just going to use a small piece of paper so that you can see. But this is the fold that we're going to do with um, with our big sheet of paper. So. We're going to fold it in half, like that, yep. halfway, try and keep your corners as neat as possible and then I'm going to turn it and I'm going to fold it back so uh, my open edge is going to touch that folded line. There we go. Yep, so I've got a fold there. So now I'm going to turn it over and my open edge is going to come and touch my folded line. So it's there. I've got a fold like that. And then I'm going to do the same the other way. open edge is going to come and touch that folded line. I'm going to turn it over and that open edge is going to touch my folded line. So what I've got is a piece of paper like that that's all divided up um, and I've got 16 little rectangles. Now on my big sheet of paper, it kind of depends on your pattern and what you've got in each of those. So I would fold it like this first off and then we'll have a look at what we can see in each of the 16 segments because that's going to be one of our pages. If you decide that actually you've got quite a busy pattern with lots of tiny little details and things, you could actually make it a much smaller page. And all that means is in between each of these you're going to add another fold in. Okay, so we're going to take our scissors now and we're just going to have a look and we'll just have a practice on our sheets first. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut along that quarter line and we're going to go all the way until we get to there. So we've got one more square to go and we're going to stop. We're going to miss our half line we're going to go to our three quarter line there. Same again. We're going to go along and then stop. Turn our page around and then we're just going to cut our half line. Always remember that you've got to stop here, not cut right off the edge. I know that seems obvious, but <laughs> it's easily done. And then we're just going to fold those. So if like it's there, I've got a fold going the wrong direction, it's okay. I'm just going to fold it back on itself. You're just going to concertina, so you're just going to create zigzags. So that goes in, this one comes up, this one comes up, okay, down. Brush that flat and then we'll open it up and you can see. So you can 
can see there it is yeah but when it's my little concertina book my little folded book I get these pages so I get this little fold so I'll glue those two together to make one and it opens like that and then again you get that little fold there so glue those two together is and then there's that little fold so glue those two together and there you go so you'll get a little book there okay so fold in half Short fold, you can use the, the side of your the handle of your scissors. Right, let's go this way. Okay, be really careful here that what you're not doing that you're not smudging or scratching off any of your paint and things, especially if you've used something like oil pastels on here that will smudge across um, and make sure that everything is quite dry uh, because if it's not you'll be smudging that everywhere. Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay. So one, two, three. So same the other way now. concertina because they all sort of go the direction you want them to but. okay so what I'm gonna get is let me fold it up and show you one page so what I'm gonna get on one page is that okay so remember this is a quarter half three quarters so we're gonna go on our quarter we're gonna cut it time okay, and make sure you try to stay as neat on the line as possible okay and stop you want to keep that last bit i'm going to miss this one and go here quarter and a three quarter and we're going to go on a half. So cut, cut, cut all the way along. See how that folded up nicely because of the directions that we we folded it. But Jim, ah, here we go. Here's our little sketchbook in there. Yep. If you want it the other way, so can you see how I've got these are on my outsides? 
yeah and that's on my middle one so I could twist it round fold it however that suits what you're doing really Put a little cover on that. I could get like a little uh, board either side of that. So I had a little sketchbook. Uh, I could get um, something card to wrap around it so that it opened up as a little sketchbook. But I've got quite a few little concertina there. Don't forget, visit my website for your art resources, follow me on social media, like this video and subscribe to my channel.